Hello YouTube, this is the Moreman82 here with another update video. Well, it's starting to look more like a trailer. Um, I um, what I did today is I bolted on since the paint was dry. I bolted on my torsion bars. Um, I used grade five bolts, two and a half inches long, with a Stefan nut and a washer. And I drilled the holes in the appropriate spot. Now the two torsions are not really the same. I hope you can see that, that this one is a wild bit wider than that one. So um, they're just loosely bolted there. And also the wheels are just I put there just loosely. Uh, these are these are still the five five bolt uh, bolt pattern. I did order the full board, uh, four bolt pattern hubs from Princess Auto. They're not in yet. So what I'm going to do is, before I adjust them to make sure that the wheels are not out of alignment, like you don't want a wheel like this slightly and, and then like that, so it'll wear the tire. And I want to make sure the gap between the frame and the torsion arm is equal. So what I'm going to do is that when I get to the hubs, I'll bolt the tires on securely. And then I will adjust the the um, I will measure the distance between the frame and the tip of the the um, hub cap there, and uh, and I'll look at the tires to make sure that they are perpend perpend perpendicular, sorry, to the trailer. Uh, I'll do that on both sides. Once that's done, I will secure I will tighten those bolts, and then I will flip the trailer onto its wheels finally. And I will move it up here, and I will start to work on the tailgate. Um, I thought about my tailgate a little bit. It's going to take a little bit of finicking. But my two tailgates, essentially, are here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take pieces like this. And what I'll, what I'll do is I'll, sh I'll show you here. I kind of messed one up, but anyway. <clears throat> Bucket of bolts here. Okay. I have a rod, the rod, I'm going to get a piece of rod to show you actually, so you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> this rod is three quarter inch, it's going to slide here, just like that, across the whole way, and there'll be some holes with the cotter pin there, so I will be able to take, actually take it off if I wanted to. So what I thought is, at the edge of my gates, I will have something like this. Uh, there will be two of them, one in the, in the middle, uh, one on the, on the right side, and one on the in the middle. And then on the left side, the farther left and the farther right side of the gates, I guess I'm going to have my my invented hinge system. So I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to actually do it. I know how to do it, but I kind of have to figure around with the get the heights measurements and everything from the with the, the compensate for the decking and everything and so everything is, is flush but so the gates when I flip them down so they'll hook into here they're gonna be like this they're just gonna hook into the bar like that now this one I kinda cut too much off as you can see here and uh, I wanna actually cut a little bit in more than that to leave this hook so once the gate if the gate is on the trailer it hooks in like that right side view there it hooks in like that so that it won't come off when I have a load on it but since the gate's gonna flip upwards like this you want to have this so you can just the gate can just come out and it's right on that and once I have the gate up I don't want the gate to fall out so what I did is is it'll be like this. I'll leave a little piece there so it won't actually come out of there. It'll, it'll be a little uh, tab right there. See this one I cut too far so it's very very loose but I'll have a little tab here so it'll it'll stay on there so it won't pop off. So this one I messed up. I'm gonna have to have more of these. This is half inch. Yeah it's half inch so I'm gonna have to have four, uh, five more of these done because I messed this one up today. No, that happens sometimes when you don't go, when you're inventing things and you're, you know, you're, 
sometimes things happen. That's okay. That's why they have erasers on pencils. <coughs> but yeah, it looks it's getting to look like a, a trailer. It's very exciting. I can't wait to uh, put the flip it on its on its top there and make the fenders and the gate and then make the torsion bed the, the um, truck bed crane on this side here. But that's exciting. It's almost the end of March. Um, it's about a week and a half. There's another snowstorm here for tomorrow. We're supposed to get 20 centimeters. I wasn't able to get here for four days, and I'm, I, I stayed here all day trying to try to work. Uh, I took me a couple hours to two hours to drill eight holes in there. The drill bits that I bought, they're new. They're from Canadian Tire. They're crap. Uh, I kept having to sharpen them. They were good for actually out of the box. They were good for two holes. And this is just two by two tubing. Like it's nothing tough. It's not like it's half inch or anything. I kept having to put oil in it, and as soon as it would overheat, the edge was gone. So it took me four hours to drill 16 holes, which is stupid. If anybody out there can tell me a good brand of drill bit that's more the expensive kind, I will have to go buy some because I'm not going to buy any more drill bits can Canadian Tire. Some other, some other tools from them are great, but the drill bits really suck. <laughs> They're not worth anything. You can, you can use them to, for plastic wood, the sheet metal or whatever, but when it comes to actually doing stuff like this, they're not great. So um, if, you, if you can suggest anything, like a brand name that's really, really good that you tried before, please put it in the comments. I'd appreciate that because I don't know which brand. Like, I don't know. I know I'm going to probably have to pay $100 for a good set of, dr of uh, drill bits because I'm tired of, of finicking around with, with these. I mean, I even broke one. I mean, they're fragile as anything. And uh, the tips get worn down much easily. Like it's just as soon as they overheat or something like that, they just you're practically just drilling into the bits, getting shorter, and it's not even drilling through the metal. Anyway, that was my rant. Anyway, so uh, I also put a coat of paint on the bottom of my stabilizers there, and I put another coat of paint on these. These actually cleaned up very nice, and they look great. I'm going to put two coats on each side. I'm going to put another coat of black on the bottom of these, and all this will be done once I finish with that. It's got a pain in the butt. It's not ready because it's cold, and the paint, the metal paint takes a long time to dry, and I want to put enough coats that it won't, uh, you know, rust easily. So that's a view from the front. It kind of, it's going to look really, really nice, uh, especially when the fenders are on and everything. So it looks great. It's very encouraging when things come together. <clears throat> especially if it's your first time project like this. Uh, once everything is done, once the lights are on and the decking is done, the last thing, and it's ready to, to be hauled out the door here, uh, I am going to have it undercoated. Uh, this guy I know there that undercoats my vehicles every every fall, and I'm going to have him um, undercoat my trailer in the spring, this spring, uh, just so to give it a extra coat. Especially coating the wood and everything, coating around the torsion bars and everything, because thing we use a lot of they use a lot of salt here on the road, so things get rusted really quickly. Anyway, so that's an update for today. If you uh, like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, it'll be probably by next Thursday before I can get another video up because I only got into work one day this week, uh, and I have to make up the time next week. So I'll be in Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then on Thursday I'll probably be back here. Just hopefully I'll get my torsion bar, uh, my uh, my new hubs and my rest of my parts by then. So I'll be able to come here, finalize this, and flip it on its uh, flip it on its uh, on its wheels, and uh, either start on the tailgate or start on the fenders. I still have to get the fenders. So anyway, uh, yeah. So until next time, have a good day.